Just a few days ago, me uh -huh. and Ali were sat at this very desk. Yep. Putting together a presentation as to why uh -huh. Sevilla could win La Liga. Right? They won't. <laughs> uh, they lost 1 0 at the Sanchez Pijuan today against Atleti Bilbao, meaning their task is impossible. Six points adrift of Atleti at the top of the table. Too much for them to do as we welcome in. Uh, oh, Sid Lowe has joined us hey. on the show uh, to reflect on what's happening in La Liga. Uh, it is now officially a three horse race, then, Sid. Yeah, and the analysis is very easy, Dan. I hadn't realised how easy it was. The analysis is that you and Ali did a package saying that Sevilla could win the league. So thanks for that. Thanks yeah. for really ruining the league title race for yep. us. I apologise for that. I know single-handedly... Uh, who should we go for next, do you reckon? Who do we want to win it all? Uh, overall, then, Sid... <laughs> could you go for Sporting Gijon, please? Yeah, you, certainly. Do, do, do I don't think I can say that professionally then. enough, uh, as you can. So, Sid, three-horse race. Who's got the advantage? Well... I think one way of looking at this is to look at what each team needs to win the league. Um, Atletico Madrid win all their games, they win the league. Barcelona, if they win all of their games, would still need Real Madrid to drop points somewhere to win the league. Real Madrid, to win the league, need Atletico Madrid to drop points somewhere. Now, all of this, of course, is on the assumption that these teams win their own games. In other words, what they need if they win their own games. And the only team with it entirely in their hands is Atletico Madrid. But, of course, Atletico Madrid play Barcelona. Yep. Uh, at the weekend. And there's a curious kind of idea going around which suggests that the winner of the league comes out of the Atletico Madrid Barcelona game. Uh, and a lot of people have suggested that Barcelona will win that game and therefore will win the league because they'll win that game, go on and win the rest of their games and win the league. But in that scenario, they would still need Real Madrid to drop points somewhere for them to win the league title. Um, you look at the run ins, and it is very difficult to call indeed because you don't look at these uh, runs of games, the final four for, I was going to say all four teams, but if we're ruling Sevilla out, all three teams and you don't look at that and think these are really easy games you look at almost all of them and think there isn't a game in there where you say they're absolutely guaranteed to win it of course they're teams that have not always performed particularly brilliantly throughout the season in terms of the dynamics that they're in at the moment Real Madrid haven't been beaten in 19 I think Barcelona have only been beaten once in 20 and uh, sorry twice in 20 which was of course Granada last week in midweek and, and Real Madrid in the Clasico and Atletico Madrid are on a fairly significant wobble so, I suppose, take of that what you will. I, I feel like Real Madrid are probably in the strongest position, but I must confess, I don't know if that's just the experience of having watched this kind of scenario so many times before, both in La Liga and in the Champions League, that when you let Real Madrid off, they come back and they make you pay for it. Real Madrid are the T1000 hanging off your back bumper. You know, if you don't <laughs> absolutely kill them, they're coming back for you. Uh, Sid, who needs to win it the most? That's a... I, I, I've not really thought about that question. I, I, I don't know is the answer to that. And, and, I, and I guess you can make an argument for all of them. Um, you can definitely make an argument for Atletico Madrid because they've been top of the table now for five months. Uh, and when it looked like they were going to give that up, it looked like they would give it up, for example, last week after being beaten in Bilbao by Athletic Club. Then, of course, Barcelona failed to take advantage and, and beat Granada. Um, so you could say that they most need to because they are the team that if they don't win the league, it will be seen as a failure in terms of this season. It will be seen as them having blown it. So perhaps they're the ones under the most pressure. Barcelona, in theory, we've talked a lot this season about this being a transitional season. And I think for the first time ever, that I can remember, at least in, in my time in Spain, there's been a sense that they didn't necessarily need to win something for it to feel like there was progress. They've now won the cup, and now that they're in this position, of course, they really do want to win it. But I don't think they need to. And as for Real Madrid, well, I guess the answer to that question depends fairly heavily on what happens in the Champions League right. in midweek against Chelsea. Uh, I think that will impact upon the way that they play in La Liga, but in particular, it will impact upon the idea of whether or not they really need La Liga. So having gone around the houses and, and, and kind of spoken, you talked you through those three things, I think the team that probably needs it most is Atletico. And yet, of course, they're the team that at the start of any season, no one ever demands that they win the league, but they do demand it now, having been top for five months. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.